Hey, what's up guys? Imran here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And just a few days ago, Samsung held its annual Unpacked event for 2021. This is an event where they basically release all new items or announce a few new items for the upcoming year. And this year, they announced a couple different things. Number one, they announced uh, a, a new series of S phones, as well as new earbuds and something called tiles. So let's go ahead and talk about this event. All right, welcome back. So first, let's talk about the phones. Samsung came out and announced three different variants of the S series phones. First one being the Galaxy S21, second one being the Galaxy S21 Plus, and the third one being the Galaxy S21 Ultra. The S21 will cost $799 in here in the US, Galaxy S21 Plus will be $999, and the Galaxy S21 Ultra will be $1199, so basically $1200. Uh, the Ultra model will basically be compatible with the S Pen. That's something new that they've that Samsung is doing this year. Where in the past they really haven't made the S series compatible or with the S Pen. That's been kind of reserved for the Note series, which we've known to be around for a while. And I'm not sure if Samsung will be replacing the Note by any means. I don't think they will. I think the Note by itself has a separate audience than somebody with just a normal S series uh, phone. But it's interesting to see that Samsung is going to make this phone, um, the Ultra one, compatible with the S Pen, which you can buy separately for additional cost. It does not come with it, nor does it actually charge the way it's placed in the case. Um, so it's a bit odd, but I guess if you want to use it, you can use it. You just won't have the full functionality you would on, for example, a Note uh, with the buttons and the Bluetooth connectivity and things like that. But that might be for our separate video. They do have a couple different colors that they offer, such as rose gold, black, phantom violet, and kind of a different look than they typically have gone with. Uh, all the phones, all three phones, are 5G compatible. All right, so the Galaxy S21, which is the normal base model, uh, rocks a 6.2 inch display. This S21 Plus has a 6.7 inch display, which also has a bigger battery compared to the normal one. And they have this weird, in my opinion, look to the camera built out in the back. Uh, instead of going horizontal, it's more vertical, and it's kind of, as you guys can see here, kind of a carve out in the top left corner, which I think over time will look fine. It just looks kind of odd to me, especially in those different colors. The black one, to me, still looks the best. Um, one of the major features, of course, on this phone is the camera itself. It's got a, uh, it's, it's capable of taking a 8K snapshot from any video that you actually might carry. So if you are recording a video and you want to take a picture out of it, you can actually take a 8K image right from the video itself, which will look really nice. But as you guys know, the cameras are ridiculous on, on the, the Samsung phones. Uh, the Ultra one being the higher of the three models has a 108 megapixel camera, which of course, you know, does a great job with pictures as well as images in low light conditions. All right, so those are, that's kind of the quick wrap up as far as the phone goes. The next thing I'm gonna talk about are the earbuds. Um, this is something that Samsung announced in, again, in this event. And the really cool thing about this is a couple things that really caught my attention. Number one, that they are completely waterproof for up to three minutes once they are submerged in water, which is really cool. Not that, I guess that would come in handy if you dropped it somewhere and you know it fell in the water, you'll be able to take it out and it'll be fine. You wouldn't actually swim with them or submerge them for full three minutes because that's the threshold that they're capable of doing. But of course it would be rainproof and sweatproof and things like that, So, which is really kind of nice. The second thing that really caught my attention was the fact that the noise cancellation actually kind of pauses when you speak. So it's capable of recognizing your voice and pausing the noise cancellation so that we can actually hear or have a conversation with someone if you are, for example, ordering food or on the subway, you're talking to someone or you're walking and you stop, ask for directions and those type of things. It's able to pick up your voice, pause the noise cancellation so you can hear the other person talk and then reactivate it and have you kind of lost in your own world as you're listening to music or watching a movie or whatever else you might be doing. So. I think that's really cool. I'm curious to see how they actually feel in the ear because I personally, I'm, my ears are a bit strange so I have a hard time with certain 
designs or whatnot but i do have these on order they will be coming in the next couple days so i will do a full review on the earbuds so make sure you stay tuned for that and of course subscribe if you have not already but those are the kind of highlights for the earbuds they will be uh, priced at 189 199 dollars here in the us so um, they are pretty well priced along with the apple airpods pro uh, and they're in that same price range if you will so about 200 dollars for those and again i will be doing a full unboxing and review of those this week so stay tuned the last thing they introduced was the smart tag tracker this is basically similar to the tile model that's out there that has been out there for a while basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to attach that tile onto a pet a purse or anything that you want to track through gps um, that's something that samsung is just getting into now with with this tracker basically it prevents you from losing things if you have the tile on there it'll be able to locate it and nice thing is it does kind of feed off different connections so even though for example like let's just say you leave your purse somewhere in the middle of a cafe or something based on how it, it is on the samsung network and other users around it it will pick up that frequency to be able to locate and and basically let you know where that purse is so it doesn't really have to be directly connected to your phone it will pick off signals from different networks around it via samsung and you would be able to locate your device which i think is pretty cool the price on that is going to be 29.99 per tile but if you do order the phone now they are offering it free with the purchase of a phone so something to look into i'll go ahead and leave the link in the description below you guys can go check that out but those are basically the three things that they unveiled again the samsung s lineup the tiles as well as the earbuds so um, I think that was pretty cool. It was interesting to watch them unveil all those things. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick breakdown of the event. If you have any questions, please go down in the comment section below, right below the thumbs up button and subscribe button. Make sure you leave them there and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. And let me know if you would be picking up any one of these items or not. I would love to hear that from you and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.